Happy Kwanzaa, guys. It is day six. We're almost to day seven. That means it's sadly almost over, but thanks for joining me today for this one. The word for today is koumba, and that translates into creativity. I'm going to read what it says. To do always as much as we can in the way that we can in order to leave our community more beautiful and beneficial than when we inherited it. So you know how we've been starting these. If you haven't seen the other ones, go ahead and check those out. There are five other videos and they're all under five minutes, so it shouldn't take you that long at all. But I'm going to begin with prayer. <sighs> Father, thank you. Thank you for this day. Thank you for allowing us to join it together to spend this time together. Thank you for the person watching this video right now, Lord. I pray that you just remind us that you are created with words. You created everything. And I want you to remind others and everyone listening to this video right now that there is something that you want to create in and through them because everything was created by you, for you, and for your glory. And we know that all things work together for our good. And we know that if we love you, that that's a promise. So I just pray that you just show us that we can go places, we can go to places that don't seem beautiful or do not seem ideal, and we can make them more beautiful. We can make them look more like you. We can make them go back to their perfect origin in the way that you designed originally. Lord, I pray that you just help the creator, help the creative person, the person that's watching this right now that really wants to create and wants to do things. Lord, I want you to give them vision, give them guidance and direction, show them the way that they can create more and be more creative in whatever way will honor you. Lord, I pray for the person that feels like they're not creative. They feel like that is not their personality type and let them know that that's okay too but we remind them that there is something specific and it does not have to fit the mold that our country or our culture tells us that they have to be creative in that uh, creative in that way lord i just thank you for this time that we're gonna spend together i heard that this uplifts and encourages i want your name to be great and i want you to be shown in ways that you have never been shown before to so many people but we know that things and your word are already true, that they're just revealed to us more true day by day. So I thank you for creativity, and I thank you for this principle today. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope you guys were encouraged by that prayer. Now we're going to talk about some a scripture that I wanted to incorporate into this. I only picked one. I did want to say, as we know, God is creator. And that's in Genesis 1, the beginning of the Bible, that... You know, we, it says it, you know, God spoke and it was like he literally only had to speak. Um, so that's pretty straightforward. So we know that we have a perfect example of a creator just in our father, God. But also I want to go into Exodus, which is also in the Old Testament. And it's going to be chapter 35 verses 32 through 33 and 35. So it says he is a master craftsman, expert in working with gold, silver, and bronze. He is skilled in engraving and mounting gemstones and in carving wood. He is a master at every craft. And in verse 35, I'm going to talk about in a second. But I just really wanted to go back through this one. It is the context for context. It's about the offerings in the tabernacle. So it's kind of talking about how they were decorating and things like in the actual tabernacle, which is God's home at the time for like the Jewish people. Anyway, that's a whole nother story. But basically it just shows like, you know, people were masters. People were good with doing things with their hands. Um, even back in biblical times, like that is something that people did. Of course, people were creative in other ways outside of building, obviously. But as a whole culture, as a whole system of people we all have different things that we are most creative in so we can all practice that and make the world look better so also though i didn't want to read verse 35 which it says the lord has given them special skills as engravers designers embroiderers in blue purple and scarlet fine thread on fine linen cloth and weavers they excel as craftsmen and desired designers so this was basically talking about how they were decorating for the tabernacle. So it's not necessarily just a general, you know, 
oh, these people were good at doing this, this, this. But I do believe that's something that we can take because we all have something special that God gave us as a gift. And we can be creative in that gift if we operate in that gift. I believe for me, I am not a seamstress, so this would have not been me. I know a lot of people, there are a lot of great YouTubers and people just in the world that can. So my grandmother was a great seamstress. Oh, I used to try to get on her sewing machine. didn't work. But anyways, so that's something that we all have. I do believe I have other gifts um, that I can kind of work in and be creative in. So I will continue to operate in those. And I encourage you to operate in your own. So, of course, we can't forget the challenge. I do want to encourage you to tell me down in the comments below, what does creativity mean to you and how can you incorporate or create more in your own life? You can create space. You can create a lot of things. How can you create more in your own life so that you can truly operate in your purpose? So this is day six of Kwanzaa. I hope you definitely don't miss day seven. And I thank you for spending this time with me and stay well. Don't doubt.